All right, guys, I just uh, learned something super cool in Blender, so uh, let's go take a look. Okay, so here we are, and uh, let's, let me show you something. So, what I figured out to do, and I'm sure everybody can do this. So, I'm looking to make a book cover, but uh, as you can see, I have PNG, so let's, so we're turning a PNG into a SVG, and bring it into Blender, let's go. So, PNG, anything else, PNG, let's go ahead and frames, okay, borders. So here I want to look at, uh, let's say, this one's pretty cool. So you went to this one, again, it's a pretty cool frame. I like it. So, let's go free download. Ah, it's a login. Uh, I don't want to get, I don't want to log in. So, let's go over here. Um, I down, okay, so I'm gonna download this guy. All right, and then you go, let's say, I'll show you what I did. So I went to here, I'm gonna choose files. I got this guy, so I chose that file. Now I wanna convert it to SVG, it's right there, SVG. And you go convert. And we get some time, it converts. Exciting, it's super cool. So it's converting. All right, it's converted. Um, now that it's converted, download it. And I already downloaded it, so here it is. <clears throat> Should be SVG frame, so SVG frame. All right, so now it's downloaded, it's in there. So in Blender, as you can see, I've already brought it in. So what all you have to do, I'll bring it, bring it again, so I'll delete everything. Delete. So file, import, SVG. Now you might have to um, <clears throat> enable it in here. Yeah, it might already be in. So SVG skill graphic. All right, so if that's not done. So again, import. SVG, so SVG frame, there it is. Double click that, and boom, there it is. So now, this is the cool part. So say now, I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, make this extrude it. So go into here, and you can do this to, to all of these things. <clears throat> so go into here and say extrude, and now it's 3D. Look at that. Oh, shit. Now, this is even cooler part. So, in Blender, you can go to Profile. So, I'm going to take the extrude off. Go zero. <clears throat> go into Profile. Go to Depth. Say, you want to see more? That's too much of it. So, 0 0.01. That's good too. Let's go. Let's say 0 0.0. Zero five. Okay, that's cool. Let me get bigger. <clears throat> Point zero zero five, and you see how it's kind of nothing really going on. It looks cool, but nothing really going on. So now, into here, we're gonna go into some cool shit. Yeah, make it a little interesting. Give it some depth. Maybe. It's one of these. All right, that's fine. Not picky at times. Okay, that's cool. So we're gonna do that and look at that. And now let's uh, give it some some texture. So I'm just gonna take this piece again. You can do it. You can do this to all of this and. Uh, you might want to decrease it yeah, just a little bit. Let's see. 
Let's make a computer scale. Let's see what happens. So, undo. so I think it's important to to change where for each object, and then once it's done, is to uh, um, change where the um, whatever point is. So, so do this all. We'll go to <clears throat> uh, uh, not add. Go select um, cursor to selected midpoint. Press tab, and then we're gonna go object set origin origin to 3D cursor. So there. So now we can rotate it, and now it's in that same spot, and scale it, cool. All right, so now the new thing that I've been using is, uh, I'll do this too, is a plugin I got by Sanctus, Sanctus Surreal, I don't know, I don't know what name is. Sanctus. <laughs> and uh, man, these textures are, are awesome, so. See, let's go. Let's give it some tin, synthetic. Let's give it a Actually, glass would be cool. And let's go to easy, take plastic, arc. Let's give it. Uh, oh, yeah. Go here. Sign us for that. Now let's bring it into Cycle Thunder. And I mean, think of like all the ideas, like how quickly you can do stuff. Like that's pretty awesome. So anyway, that's my quick little tip. Hope it helps. Peace.